tough for them. Yasni off you find party for 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 Throw feet off now we fall inside Throw feet off now, we fall inside. 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 Motherfucker. Hello to everybody out there in the Blood Over Intent community. Um, I'd like to say a message in re with regards to uh, some people that are kind of dropping out of Blood Over Intent. And there are some videos that have been posted with Quasi's contradictions. And they are contradictions, but you've got to consider the amount of people that have already turned on him th through this process. Um, for me, if I try to put myself in his shoes, which is kind of difficult, but if I if I do and have my faith in the guys that are supposed to be helping me and they fucking turn around and do exactly what they were asked not to do, um, I don't have to mention names and names have been mentioned, but it, it, it all revolves around money. I mean, that really sticks in and breaks it off. In my mind, like, that's a fucking knife in the back, if you've ever had a knife in the back. But, my point is, um, maybe there's some things that are not all foreseeable, right? Because you do have free will. And with the um, uh, free will itself, that means all decisions are not final. You could go to the finish line and just about be right there and then for whatever reason decide to say, Nope, I'm just going to turn around and go the other way while all the other people cross the finish line. There would be no reason to do this, yet it can happen because free will exists. If we were all um, robots or automatons or it was 100% control, if you think about it, I mean, that's just 100% a program. A program will do the same thing over and over and over again because it has no free will. But when you implement free will, you also, you know, have the, the you know, the chance that chaos is going to intervene. And chaos doesn't always do what you want it to do. But in order for free will to exist, you need chaos present. So not everything is predictable. But I would also like to mention this. Many times, uh, Quasi has said this, um, Satan has said this, Mark has said this, Saturn has said this, uh, where they wanted, or rather he wanted, and his message is being relayed, to separate the wheat from the chaff. Now, in order to do this, that means that there has to be a test at some point in time. There's going to be a test involved. So, you know, it might be a situation where it's darkest before the dawn. And uh, he's probably trying to figure out, you know, who is worthy, who is going to push through this. Because if you got no guts, you got no glory, you know. And there is intent and there's will. The intent to do something and the will to carry it through, right? So one is the trigger, one is the bullet. So this might all be just a test. Um, you know, they say God works in mysterious ways. Well, who's God of this world? 
or rather maybe the closest thing you can find at this point. You can pray and pray and pray and you know as well as I do that Jesus in some countries is just a man and in other countries like Canada, the United States and stuff like that. Um, they put him in the um, realm of a god and the truth is uh, that's all you know open up for interpretation and it was one interpretation through the Christian community and which is the Catholics that uh, have a lot of power and they're using their power um, to force this idea because this idea gives them the power to control people everything is from a military perspective in my perspective of things and uh, the religion is just a, a front to control things right it's to control everything because that's what they want the noose never gets loose the noose always gets tighter and one day you just can't breathe anymore and that's the end of you and I think that's their ultimate goal um, because they just want their special ones or their bloodlines and all that to stay alive but in a way when you think about it they're just gonna kill themselves <laughs> it's kind of funny actually um, so they got their, we got the slaves, which is mostly everybody, and then the top echelon, right? The filthy few at the top running the whole thing, which is basically surmounts to organized crime. You know, I've tried to do a few videos with Quasi and or AK Satan, and I enjoyed them. Um, you ask the wrong questions, and he does have a ten tendency to, you know, maybe, maybe you know, give it to you the wrong way that you don't want to hear it. But he has a, a sarcasm to him that I'm familiar with because I work with people like that. Um, I work because I'm, I'm in a lot of ways, I'm the same kind of guy. Um, but when I'm, when I'm on that video, I'm like a fucking deer in the headlights, man. It's just like everything I wanted to say and how I wanted to say it just doesn't come out the way I wanted to say it. I'm excited. I'm like, this is this guy is awesome. I, I respect everything he does. Uh, I've seen this all from the very beginning, um, and I've watched it unfold like a book. Uh, but my, my my main point, going back to all of it, all over again, is uh, there's a test taking place here. This is all a test, <clears throat> and the people you notice that are kind of dropping out and stuff like that. Some of them are more subtle about it, and some of them are more direct. And then there's some that are just outright attacking. And you find out the ones that are attacking, uh, they basically don't know because they weren't there from the very beginning. All they're doing is seeing the tail end of the videos and seeing the word Satan. And then immediately their Christianity programming kicks into high gear and they're like, Oh, defend God, defend God, defend Jesus. And the truth is, um, I'm sorry to break it to you. But if he isn't came by now, he isn't fucking coming. And and the reality is, Jesus is the sun above your head. It's in every religion, all the way back to the ancient Egyptians. Um, the, the birth and the death, the summer, the winter solstice, all of it. You look into it and you start flipping the pages, reading the words, seeing what's going on. And you start putting two and two together. <clears throat> uh, my suggestion to anybody out there, if you really want to get some information on this is watch a video called zeitgeist zeitgeist there's two of them and uh, it goes into great detail about uh, the history of human beings and how we got to where we are right now with more of a non-biased perspective I might add <clears throat> and some more facts involved instead of being tainted by the magical sick wand of our media and uh, greedy fucks so you know have that, have that being said you know just just sit tight lay low relax don't do anything if if you feel that things are falling apart you feel like this is this is not the way you want to see things to happen my best suggestion to you again is it's a test number one 
And my suggestion is this. Sit back and see what happens with everybody else. You've got time. <clears throat> no one's going anywhere. At least not right away. And chances are most of you aren't on death's door. So let's just see how everything unfolds. I know the community has dwindled a bit. But just as fast as the numbers can fall, they can rise again. So, and anybody coming on there with the smirking faces and the, you know, looking down at you attitude. That's another thing is uh, camera, video camera perspective. I always like to have the camera um, slightly higher than me. Because I want people to feel that I'm looking up to them. I don't like to have the camera down below me to have a feeling of superiority um, because I don't want to present that. I want people to stumble in the dark and hit a few things before they find the light switch. Thanks. Bye.